is no excuse for foolishness. I said imperfection is no excuse for foolishness. And then we have the audacity to do something stupid and come on to argue with, argue, argue with the wife. I bought, I, wanted to, I bought a car today. You did. I, bought, I bought a car today. I work hard. I'm in. I'm gonna have a midlife crisis, and I'm sick and tired of working hard. And nobody driving this beat up car. So I went today, and I bought a car. And you just best deal with it. I hope that car is big enough to have an indoor plumbing, because we are going to my mama's house, and you can. Sleep I'm not there. going to your mama's house because I don't like your mama anyway. You just like your mama. That's why I'm about to. I don't. I don't like your mama. I don't like your daddy either. And oh, if you really? were less like your mama, less like how you were supposed to be, like this Bible says, we'd be getting along a little bit better. Okay, well, if you would learn how to take care of your family, like the Bible says, that those who don't take care of his own is worse than an infidel. I take care of my okay. family. Oh, no, I you did not pay the mortgage, I but you went and bought a car? I go to work Are every day. I mind? take care of my I family. So. I don't want to hear that. Oh, I take no. care of my, I take oh, care no, of my family. Here. I don't. And that's how that goes. That look familiar to some of y'all. 